Hi everybody, uh, I'm coming to you this afternoon uh, from our preschool hill and playground area and I want to talk to you about our, our Lasting Legacy Annual Fund uh, project and information that we sent home to you back in December. Uh, if you recall, there's four projects that we uh, wanted to try to see from a school improvement process take place over the next few months. The first one is the renovation of our preschool building. That's the oldest building we have on campus. Uh, our school began here in 1983. Our church bought this property even before that, and this building was already there. And uh, over the course of the few, several years, there's been some renovations done to it, but we really feel like it's to the point that we need to do a complete uh, improvement and enhancement project. And uh, you may or may not know, but we affectionately call this place the hill. And it's where our preschool teachers do a great job with our kids. We call them our babies. It's K2 through K4 kids. And uh, that's going to be about a $100,000 project. We'd like to start that on Friday, May 29th, which is our last day of school. We'd like to start that project immediately so we could get it done at that time over the summer so it will be ready to go for the next school year. So that's our first project. The second thing that we'd like to do from our playground is to enhance this area and improve it. If you can see back there, there's currently a fence that separates the playground from some property behind it. Our church owns that property and they've actually allowed us, given us permission, to take this fence down and extend our playground beyond that area and at the same time buy some new equipment for our, our elementary students that will be out here that play each day. That project it totals $140,000 and we think obviously our, our kids are worth it. Uh, if you have a, a, an elementary student that goes here, they'll tell you how much they enjoy the recess and our playground, so that's what we'd like to try and do for that. Our third project involves purchasing uh, a, a school vehicle. Um, as our school has grown, as the field trip numbers have grown, in fact right now we got some kids that are gone on the 8th grade trip, pretty soon others will be going on different field trips. We have the 4th grade that goes to St. Augustine, we have the 5th grade that goes to uh, uh, Port Canaveral, all those types of things. Not to mention all the athletic contests that we have, we have a need for more vehicles. And so that was going to be about a $28,000 purchase, something that's very needed, something that will be used school-wide, and so that's our third one. Then our fourth one is we want to continue to try to be one of the leading schools in this area in the area of technology. God is blessed in the transition that we made this year to the iPads, and uh, we want to continue to do some things within the classrooms, things like smart boards and Elmos and other educational tools to give our teachers so they can do the very best job as they're teaching your kids. That project will be 32000 So you take those four school improvement projects, and the total amount that is needed to complete them is $300,000. Now what I'd like to say to you is we've already had 50000 of that pledged or given to us and we're very grateful for those. But we really need in this area some more help if we could get it financially. I, I had the privilege to go to a, a conference in Gainesville two weeks ago. It was a Christian school conference where different leaders and principals met and uh, one of the sessions dealt with development and advancement. And there were two things that were said at that conference that I want to communicate to you uh, as I close this video that really had an impact on me. This was the first comment. One of the men said, where God gives the vision, He'll give the provision. Or where God gives the vision, He will send the provision. And that's what we've been praying. God has certainly given us the vision as administration here at school of where we want to see Sefner Christian Academy go. We, we know what we were, we want to get, and we understand the way to get there. But we need some help financially. We need some help from some donors. We need some people to understand and say, I believe in what they're trying to do at Sefner Christian, and I'm going to show that by, by doing what I can financially to contribute. That's the first thing. This was the second thing that was said to me. It was mentioned by a man by the name of Zach Clark, who's a development coach, and this is what he communicated. He said, people donate funds to organizations for two reasons, to save lives and to change lives. And well, that really meant something to me because I thought, we see that happen here in both, in both forms and facets in our school. In fact, this, to, this very day in chapel today, in our secondary chapel, we saw two young people give their lives to the Lord. And so God allows us in this ministry to see lives saved and see lives changed. But I, I will say this, I believe for us to go to the next level as a school, it's going to be in the area of advancement, development, and donations and contributions. So I'm asking you as never before, if you would pray and consider helping us get the funds necessary, these $300,000 to complete these four school improvement projects 
And together, I believe we can do it for the glory of God. I appreciate you listening to us. I appreciate your prayers and your consideration. For those of you that have already helped us, thank you so much. And I just pray God will allow us to continue to see uh, improvements and enhancements and, and better things ahead for our school and our school family. Thank you so much.